Now, as a lot of you will be aware, I am a massive fan of Danish running apparel brand Sky, and I have been for some time now. So when I heard on the running shoe grapevine that they were gonna be pairing up with Finnish running shoe brand Kahu to produce their first ever collaboration shoe, I got very excited. I'm glad to say I finally managed to get hold of a pair and in today's video, we're gonna be hitting the roads and taking them out for their first run. So without further ado, let's get stuck into the video. Great to have you back folks and thanks for watching another video. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. So a pretty exciting day at the channel because not only do we get to try Say Sky's first ever collaboration running shoe, but it's also gonna be my first run in a shoe from the Kahu brand. Now you might not have come across the Finnish brand before and to be honest, I, I didn't have a lot of information about them. So when I was doing my research and yep, you might be surprised, but I do actually do some research now and again. You know, these videos aren't just thrown together you know so uh, I actually discovered that this brand is steeped in running history and they're actually founded over a hundred years ago in 1916. The brand really started to gather momentum on the track back in the day because their shoes were being worn by a group of runners called the Flying Fins and that included Emil Zatopek who is hands down one of the greatest distance runners of all time and then at the Olympics in 1952 in Helsinki athletes wearing the car who shoes actually won a total of 15 gold medals. Pretty amazing stats, but it gets even better than that. And because the brand was creating a lot of hype and getting a lot of interest, they actually ended up selling their three stripe trademark to a now very well known athletic shoe manufacturer. And I think we all know who that was and maybe not the best business move in the world. But considering that the Kahu brand isn't that well known in today's running shoe market, they have a very interesting history, that's for sure. Okay, on with a few facts and figures and the Fusion 3.5 retails for £135 here in the UK. Weight wise comes in at 309 grams in a UK 9.5 and it runs off a 6mm heel offset. Because it is a collaboration between the Danish apparel brand Sky and Kahu, we have some Sky detailing on there. So some on the tongue, we have the Sky uh, star on the heel along with the Kahu bear because Kahu means bear in Finnish. And they claim that the shoe is kind of a all-in-one shoe for a neutral runner that can handle a big variety of running workouts. When it comes down to construction, you get a full aerofoam midsole and worked in there is also Volcrum technology from Kahu. This is in there to provide nice balance cushioning, but also give a bit more support, higher energy return and a smoother ride. And as I push into that compound, it does feel quite firm. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how that performs on today's run. If I flip the shoe over, you can see we've got a sort of semi-exposed midsole and um, they've actually worked in some blown uh, rubber on the higher wear areas or should I say most of the higher wear areas because there's no blown rubber on the outside edge of the forefoot which I find pretty strange because I'm pretty sure that is a high wear area for most runners and it definitely is for me because I tend to load or strike on the outside edge of my forefoot so going to be really interesting to see how that holds up to sort of mileage as we go and I think where they've used that sort of gum colored blown rubber it actually looks more like a shoe that I'm going to grab to go and play badminton or squash in and not so much like a running shoe but what are your thoughts on the look and design let us know in the comments below finishing off see what I've done there finishing off you know they come from Finland so they're a Finnish company so fi it doesn't matter anyway so moving on and you get a new updated ideal knit upper for improved breathability we've got for me just the right level of padding in the tongue around the ankle collar and in the heel cup so it should feel very comfortable and you've got some overlays worked in uh, around those eyelets and around the toe box just for a bit of extra durability you get a good level of structure in the back end of the shoe from a substantial heel cup and internally in the shoe you've got Got a seamless liner that actually attaches to the side of the tongue so it's a bit like a sort of booty construction when i tried the shoe on indoors just to check them for sizing i was actually very surprised with how comfortable and how plush this shoe felt wrapped around my foot and then definitely last but not least you've got kahu's 
uh, M-lock lacing system. And this is there to give you a nice secure midfoot hold. Okay, I think it's about time we did some running. So I'm gonna go and get changed, grab the cameras, and then we're gonna try and find some quiet rows and give these a thorough testing. I'm also gonna be trying out some new running socks from the Cornish running brand, Ponnock. So uh, they've just released a new kit drop that's just gone live on their website. Uh, the new socks look cool, feel great. So it's gonna be interesting to give them a test out as well. I'll leave a link in the description for their website if you wanna check out what the guys are up to. But anyway, let's get these on our feet and let's get running. Okay, the first thing I'm noticing, we're two miles into the run. My legs are feeling pretty tight from yesterday. We did 12 and a half miles with John yesterday on the trails, but definitely feeling a little bit tight. I think maybe it's because the first two miles are all uphill. As far as the shoe goes, I would say maybe it does size up a little bit on the small side. I went with the nine and a half, my usual size, and my right foot is a little bit longer than my left, and I am quite close to the end of the toe. Since then, I've actually looked on the website and they do recommend going up half a size. It's very soft in the toe box, so I don't think it's going to cause me any problems, especially on tonight's run. We're only going to be doing sort of seven miles, so no issues there. Really good fit and hold around that midfoot. And also, I'm surprised at how light the shoe feels. So put it on the scales, 309 grams in a UK 9.5. I would have said it's way lighter than that. It feels super light in fact really well balanced so uh, yeah if i had to put it on the scales i'd have said it's probably i don't know 250 260 grams so uh, pretty impressive stuff well i'm glad to say we're four miles in now and the legs are finally loosened up so i've managed to up the pace a bit and so far, so good. The shoe is feeling really nice. Uh, very comfortable. That upper super plush internally feels great wrapped around my foot. But I was right when I was indoors, I said the midsole felt quite firm and it is quite firm a compound. Obviously, this is the first run and you know, it might just take a bit of bedding in and a bit of softening up. Very similar to that Norda 001 trail shoe that I did the first impressions on a few weeks ago. Uh, that midsole felt firm. I've got a good 40 miles in the shoe now and it is softened up a treat and it feels great underfoot. Um, really, really comfortable compound. So yeah, it might just take a bit of bedding in, but like I said, four miles down, we're gonna probably do seven, seven and a half miles today. So let's get a move on, let's get running. Okay, so we are pretty much done. So it's gonna be closer to eight miles by the time I get home. I've got a bit carried away because I am just so happy with how my body's feeling. This is my fourth run in a row. Nice steady stuff, nothing crazy. I worked in one slightly quicker session, but we're still going steady. We're not overdoing it, that's for sure. But it's just so good to be back running. I need to find some wood, one second. That's better, I don't want to tempt fate, but yeah, so good to be back running consistently and feeling like I can get out for back-to-back -back runs without my body letting me down. So uh, we're gonna head back to the studio. Like I say, it's gonna be nearer to eight miles and then we'll break down the performance of the shoe in a little bit more detail. Okay, so we ended up running 8.73 miles in the end, which is always a good sign in a new shoe for the first time. Uh, I've got to say it was feeling more and more like autumn out there today. Uh, it was a chilly wind. Plus, I was filming that at 3 p.m. and it was overcast and pretty dark and gloomy. But when it comes to the shoe, sometimes I'll try a shoe on indoors just to check it for size and, you know, I'll put it on and I feel I know how it's going to run when I get outside. But then when I do eventually get running in it, the shoe feels completely different to what I expected. But I would say the Fusions 3.5 felt pretty much how I thought they would. That ideal knit mesh upper felt very, very comfortable out on the run. And then you've got that 
seamless liner worked into the shoe. And again, that makes it feel very plush internally. You then pair that up with the gusseted tongue that gives you that kind of booty design. And we got that M-lock lacing system. I felt very locked in and secure around that midfoot. And it clearly works really well for my foot shape. As far as fit goes, I would say it's quite narrow at the midfoot and clearly quite narrow in the toe box as well. At the start of the run, I was saying that maybe the UK 9.5 felt a little bit short for me, but actually the further I ran, the better it felt. And I, uh, it'll be interesting to sort of test it out on a longer run and see if that 9.5 is big enough. I honestly think a UK 10 would probably be a bit too long. Another thing I really liked was the level of padding in the tongue, around the ankle collar and in the heel cup just right for me so not too much padding but enough padding to make it very comfortable but i could still get a real good lock down in the heel and around that midfoot uh, another bonus was the laces didn't work loose while i was running and this happens quite a lot in running shoes nowadays so at the beginning of the run i pulled them laces down tight tied them up and they didn't work loose i didn't have to stop and retie them and i was just as well held at the end of the run as i was at the beginning so the laces and that m lock lacing system is clearly working well so actually really happy with how that upper construction performed uh, very comfortable a great fit on my foot shape and it felt really breathable now before we went out on the run i did mention that that aero foam in the midsole did feel quite firm and quite dense now sometimes I'll push into a midsole inside and it will feel quite firm and then I go out for a run with it and it kind of transforms and becomes a lot softer and a lot bouncier when you're putting actual running weight through it. However, that wasn't really the case with the Fusion 3.5. It definitely gave me quite a firm ride. Now obviously it was the first run in the shoe and sometimes midsole compounds just need a bit of time to bed in and soften up or it could be that with the world of running shoes getting softer and softer and bouncier and bouncier, that that compound was just a bit firmer than what I'm used to. It's not that it was uncomfortable, but like I said, just a lot of my road shoes nowadays have a very deep, soft, bouncy level of cushioning, and that's not really the feel I got from that Aero Foam compound. I felt very connected to the ground underfoot. That Volcrum technology felt like it was really helping with forward motion, but I didn't feel like I was getting a lot back from the midsole, not a lot of energy return. And there was times on the run where it felt quite flat and quite a bit flatter than the sort of road shoes that I've been running in lately. We've just recently uploaded our neutral daily running shoe showdown video where I gather together a selection of neutral running shoes that I've tested over the last couple of months and we sort of rank them in order of performance. I would say, all the shoes in that video definitely gave me a, a softer, plusher ride from the midsole. They felt like they were dampening a bit more sort of muscle impact and giving me a bit more energy return compared to the Fusion 3.5. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below for that video if you want to check it out. So wrapping up with a quick conclusion, and I'm a big fan of the upper on the Fusion 3.5. Very, very comfortable, works really well for my foot shape. Love the levels of plushness I got across the midfoot from the tongue and in the heel cup but the jury is out when it comes to that aero foam midsole and the performance it gave me out there on the first run uh, obviously we can't be too harsh on the shoe we've got to give the shoe a chance and this was just the first run so i'm going to be running it over the next couple of weeks definitely going to get some longer runs in it and it'll be interesting to see if that midsole compound ju does just need a bit of bedding in and softening up or it might just be a firmer running shoe but like i said we'll run it over the next couple of weeks and then we'll be back with our full in-depth review i better give you a quick sock update as well so the ponic socks felt great out there on the run you know being a big fan of stance socks loving their bold bright colors loving the color combos they've gone for as well and i i think there's some other color options available but felt very plush very soft fit in my foot shape really well so big fan of those what i'll do is i'll leave a link for their website in the description below so you can go and check out what the guys are doing and it's just great to be supporting a running brand coming out of cornwall it would also be great to hear from any viewers that have spent a lot of time in a kahu running shoe because obviously this is my first experience so if you've got some good miles in the brand shoes then let us know all about it in the comments below but 
That is a wrap on another first impressions video here at Run For Adventure. Really hope you enjoyed it, really hope you found it helpful. I'm just about to go and pack and get ready to head up country to a race. Uh, I'm not actually racing, but I'm going up to help a friend and I'm gonna be pacing him over the last 25 miles. It's his first time at this distance and it is a pretty long way. So it's gonna be brilliant to go up and go along on, on his adventure with him. And we are taking the cameras with us guys. So don't worry, you can come along on the experience too. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, but hit that bell icon as well so you'll be notified when we upload any new content. You can also follow us on our other social media platforms, whether it be Instagram, Facebook or Strava. But for now guys, thanks for watching. It's always appreciated. We'll be back on the channel very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. They actually ended up selling their three striped stripe, 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 she sells seashells on the seashore. The brand started to gather a lot of momentum back in the day on the running track because their shoes would be being... Uh, Mic check, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, quarter, fish alive.